It's a cycle of violence that has plagued generations. Like their parents before them, these children too are growing up to the brutal sounds and lessons of war. Fierce fighting broke out between the Sunni Bab al Tibani neighborhood, where residents support the Syrian opposition, and the Alawite Jabal Muhsin that backs the Assad regime. The two separated by the appropriately named Syria Street. In the midst of the intense gunfire last week, we saw Khudr unflinching, brandishing a real AK 47, striding up and down the street. Monday, the guns were, for the moment, silent. The Lebanese army stationed along the front line, residents tentatively returning to their daily chores. Water guns temporarily replacing real ones. And we met up with Khidr and his family again. He's a soft-spoken, shy child. I wanted to protect my family, my country, he says. But despite all of Khidr's bravado, he couldn't. His mother, Fatme, was nearly killed. I was sitting here on the stoop, Fatme shows us. I was holding my daughter like this. She was nursing. The next thing Fatme knew, she and her baby girl were drenched in blood. So it seems like the bullet came in. It was fired from one of the buildings over there, the family is saying. And that's Jabal Mohsen that is seen straight through the window, but they thought that they would be safe inside, and they're saying that the bullet ricocheted, hitting the wall right here, and then bounced down to the spot Virginia, huh? that the kids are pointing at right there, and then managed to ricochet up into her face through, like, just like that. Khidr comes out with the bullet, or what's left of it. This this is the one that went through me. It went in here and came out here, Fatme demonstrates. Khudr says he was sleeping and woke up to his sister screaming, Mommy, Mommy. Their home was supposed to be safe. Neighbors from the upper floors and relatives from other areas had all moved in and are still here, fearing the fighting will break out once more. The water has been cut since it all began and the power is out as well. Like any other parent, Fatme doesn't want to see her children growing up like this. We lived through this already, she says, of her generation. And now we're bringing up our children with this? They are forced to carry guns. They grow up with this, not toys, but with shooting and killing. It was Khidr's father, who doesn't want to be on camera, who taught him to shoot and gave him the weapon. He was just walking on the street with it, Fatma says. It's become a trend, a cool thing among the kids. But just the other night, she tells us, she woke up to Khidr screaming in his sleep. He was shouting, I have nothing to do with it. It's not me. Khidr doesn't remember the nightmare, but he does remember why he had to carry a gun. Arwa Damon, CNN, 